In this video, we're going to explore the tools in 3D Code 3 topology room for edge extrusion. So with the select tool active, I'm going to switch to edges mode and you'll see the menu change contextually. I'm going to go ahead and select a single edge, choose edge loop. Previously, you had to use faces mode to use free extrude. And then for edge extrusion, you are left with the extrude tool, which if I click on that, you'll see how it is very wonky. It does not really work in this particular situation. I'll hit escape to drop that. Where it would work very well is if you were working on a cylindrical shaped object. So I'm going to drop that selection and I'm going to scroll down and unhide this object. I'll hide that and I'll create a new layer just for demonstration purposes. And I'll switch to orthographic view. So I can get a side angle without any distortion. All right. So let's choose the strokes tool. This is how I typically would create geometry for a cylindrical or any kind of primitive shape object. You start outside. And then once you have your loops created, you just need one single cross section like this. You tell 3D Coat here in the number of segments how many cross segments you want going around that object. Basically how many rings. So let's go to maybe 24 and I'll hit enter. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to select this line the points density. I'm going to crank that up quite a bit and try this one more time. And maybe crank that up to, let's try a 32. I enter one more time. There we go. So if I want to extrude these edges to continue building geometry along this section here, or maybe a limb of a character or something of that sort. I could go to the select tool. Again, just choose an edge, edge loop. And now if I choose extrude, I get this little preview and it works very well in situations like this. Let me go in just a bit. And that's because 3D Coat is trying to guess. It's much like using the points and faces tool where it's giving you a little preview. But you can see the closer you get to an end, the more it starts to really wig out. It's just really struggling. So let me hit escape. I still have this selection available. Previously it would remove the selection when you would uh, hit escape to drop the tool. But now let's try the free extrude tool. And by default, your gizmo may be off, but that's fine. Let's click to main axis. This way it's going to be oriented along the normals of your selection. Now, if you want this to be the case every time you use this tool, then you want to check auto fit and local space. Let me go ahead and hit escape to drop the tool. I'll choose free extrude one more time. And now you can see each time I use this tool, it's automatically going to be ready to go. So let's go ahead and pull that out and scale it in. Now a new option just like you could in 3ds Max if you hold down the shift key and perform your transform whether it's scale, rotate, or move it will create a new row of edges or new geometry on the fly. In 3D Coat the shift key, there's a conflict there because the shift key works with smoothing and, and other functions. So to prevent that conflict, what you need to do, let me first align this a little bit better. It looks like it's maybe just a bit off.
Okay. Yeah. So what we need to do, as opposed to holding down the shift key while we make the transform, we need to hit the enter key or click the commit extrusion button. So I'm going to hit the enter key and I'm just going to go ahead and scale it on in. Oops. And enter. Continue scaling in. Let's go to a side profile. Enter one more time. Enter again. Scale it in. I'll hit escape to drop the tool. If I hit escape again, it's going to drop the selection. This would be a good situation, for example, if you're working on eyeballs or the very ends of any kind of sharp pointed object like teeth, horns, anything of that sort. Uh, this allows you to quickly close it off rather rapidly. So let's choose the cap tool to finish this off. I'll go ahead and hide that and we'll go back to our other model. I'll come out of orthographic view. Choose all. And let's go back to select. And we'll do one more quick example here. Again, edges mode. I'll select an edge. Edge loop, free extrude. We want to hold the shift key to move the gizmo or reorient it on the fly. And now the first edge, it will commit an extrusion. If I continue making transforms, it's not going to create any new geometry until I hit the enter key. So I'll hit the enter key, enter key. I'll hit escape. And if we want, we can close that in with the points and faces tool. Right clicking. And so that's a quick look at extrusions when you are in the edge select mode in 3D Code. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.